Hey everybody, so I, I just wanted to, to take a minute or two and, and talk about row number with uh, somewhat of a contrived example. <clears throat> so let's, um, why don't we go back and just generate some data using the generate series function that we looked at. So let me just copy that down. And uh, on a Mac, command shift K will uncomment <clears throat> your data. And I really don't care about not joining anything and I'm not wrapping it. So let's just make sure this works here. Um, select date, right. Okay. So now we have our, our days in 2007. Let's also get our quarter extract um, quarter from date. Make sure it works. Okay, so right now should have four quarters in the year. That's good. And just to um, simulate some data here, let's take a random number and let's multiply that by 100 just to get a bigger number, maybe a thousand just to make it seem more plausible. And just to make it easier to look at, we can do um, a floor and that'll just round the value. Okay, and um, what is it? Can we convert that to numeric? Maybe we'll make it look like money, just to pretend we're talking about money. All right, let's make it a little bigger. All right, so now we've got we've got something like daily sales and uh, by day and, and by quarter. And let's actually name this as um, quarter, just so it looks nice. Now, you know, a really simple example of row number here would just be, what are the, just give me the, the top five performing days per quarter. I just want to see that. So I should only have 20 days. So top five performing days uh, for sales per quarter. What are the dates? And uh, it's actually really easy to do with this, this example. What we need to do, I'm just going to use an outer select here. Let me make some more room so you can see this. I'm just going to say um, T star from the below query, as we've done many times now. And well, just let me, let me prove it works. We haven't changed anything. We just changed the way we query it. Um, and now I'm going to add my row number, so I'm just going to say row number. doesn't take any arguments. And we're going to partition by the quarter, so we're going to do TQTR. And we're going to order by uh, t.sales. And we're going to make sure it's ordered descending as um, uh, day rank. So let's see what that does. Uh, I probably misspelled partition. Okay, so keep in mind I'm generating a random number every time here, but every time I generate the random number, it'll still recompute the rank descending. So let's just let's just step through it real quick, okay? Um, what do we have here? We have within the quarter, we have our partition, right? So the data is partitioned by quarter, and the rank that's being assigned to it is assigned based upon descending sales. So as sales go down, the rank gets higher, meaning the number is higher. This is the number one day. If we change this, if we just got rid of that, watch what will happen. The number one day will be the worst day. Uh, clearly, if we're interested in the top five best days, we need to control the sorting. And what you'll notice here is as we get around to row 90, when the next quarter starts, you see here we finish off Q1 and we start on Q2. Again, we have the same trend here. The ordering of day rank restarts. One, two, three, four, and sales are going down. And that'll happen again in Q3. Uh, Q3 starts, the rank restarts. So. Now, if we wanted to find the top five days, um, 
Uh, very simple. We've done it many times now. So we could just do select star from uh, this whole thing. We're just going to call it T2. And you know, I'll indent it a little bit just for just for fun. Um, kind of gives you a sense of the ordering. And we're going to do where T2 um, day rank. You could say, you could do this. Do where it's in that. All right, so now we have the top five days per quarter. You could have done less than, you know, you could have done less than six. You could do whatever you want. Um, so there you have it. That's a, a pretty good example of how you can generate some random data uh, to simulate an actual data point and create a window for partitioning and using this concept of a rank across the partition using row number. And there are several versions of these. We're not going to pay too much attention to them, but once you understand the way row number works, you'll understand rank, another one called dense rank, and I think there's uh, another one depending on the version of SQL that you're using. And um, yeah, this is how you would approach something like that. So we just wanted to give you another kind of more abstract example, so you didn't have to think about the tables and what was happening with the DVD rental store. So I, I hope that made some, some sense. Thank you.